In this video, we're going to learn how to throttle the creation of new objects. And in this particular case, it's going to be used for the player object firing a bullet. But you could equally do this for other things. So you'll see right now that if I press the space bar, it creates the moving instance of the bullet. You'll see it's relative and it's just above the object and all those good things. But it is a continuous stream, which means it's not very challenging. So what I'm going to do is say that when the player object is created, then we're going to set this variable and I'm going to use a global variable here for no better reason than I think that you're safer off using a global variable. So global fire equals one. So at the start of the level, global fire is one. Now when I press space, I'm going to check that variable. So over here, I'm going to check that variable and if global fire is one, then I'm going to let it fire. So, so far it will be able to fire when the level starts. But what I'm going to then do is once I have fired, and I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit here with my brackets. So if it passes the test, it can fire, but then I'm going to set the variable back to zero. So now it can't fire. So global.fire is going to equal zero. So now it's let it fire, and then it's going to stop it being able to fire. And you might think, well, what's the value of that? And that means I can only have one shot. Well, what the value of that is that we're going to set an alarm. So let me just jump up here to where they are. Oh, there they are. So I'm going to set an alarm every time I fire. So I'm going to set it for 30 steps, which is a second. And then I'm going to add an event for when that alarm goes off. So when that alarm goes off after a whole second, I'm going to set that variable back again. So that I basically um, fire the bullet, set it to zero, and then wait a second, and then I'm going to set it back. So global dot can fire. Oh, no, it's not sorry, it's not can fire. It's just fire is going to equal one now. So it'll equal one a second after I've fired. So let's just have a look and see if that works, because there's no better way to know if your solution works, then to test your code. Okay, so I fired, can't fire. Yep, so I'm pretty much, as you can hear, trying to fire constantly, but it's only letting me fire there. And if you wanted, you could even build in a condition that if it couldn't fire, it could make a sound so that you'd know that it wasn't just that it wasn't working, that it was a misfire because it wasn't ready. You could put that in your conditional there. So you could put an else at the end. Um, but for now, that will certainly do the job.